Since the moment humans first looked up at the stars and wondered about the universe, one of the most mysterious and mind-bending aspects of reality has been time. Centuries have passed, yet we still struggle to truly understand what time is. The most common belief is that time flows forward in one direction, from past to future, like a river that never looks back. But is that the full story? Well, certainly not. So what exactly is time? Is it something real that exists independently in the universe, ticking along whether we notice it or not? Or is it simply a tool created by humans to make sense of change, motion, and the unfolding of events? Get ready to be fascinated, because in this video, we will explore some of the latest scientific discoveries about the nature of time. What researchers are uncovering is both incredibly exciting and a little terrifying, hinting that our everyday understanding of time may be only a tiny piece of a much deeper mystery. In this video, we're going to explore two very different perspectives on time. In one view, time might be nothing more than an illusion, a concept our brains invented to make sense of reality. In the other view, time is treated as a real and fundamental part of the universe something that exists independently of us. We'll also look at new research suggesting that time could behave like a physical object with its own properties. We often forget that the way we measure time is something we humans created. Hours, days, weeks, years, these are not laws of nature. They are social agreements that help us stay organized, go to school on time, celebrate birthdays once a year, and make sure trains don't crash into each other. Different cultures throughout history have measured time in different ways, which shows that this system is made by us, not by the universe. But many people mix up this human-made version of time with the deeper physical nature of time itself. Now let's look at another perspective, like time as a product of change. According to this idea, time exists because things in the universe are constantly changing. The sun rises and sets, clocks tick, our bodies age, atoms move. Without change, there would be no before or after. So in this view, time isn't a thing on its own. It is the result of motion and transformation around us. But scientists have an even more mind-blowing idea. There's a modern theory called the emergent view of time. Now, in terms of emergence, there are completely concrete examples in string theory of emergence of space. So it's useful to visualize what that means to then talk about why, you know, emergence of time is such a more complicated thing. Imagine time as something that appears only when many smaller pieces of reality interact. It's kind of like how temperature works. A single atom doesn't have a temperature, but when trillions of atoms move together, temperature emerges. In a similar way, physicists suggest that time may not exist at the smallest scales of reality. Instead, what we feel as time could simply be a large-scale effect created by deeper, timeless physics running underneath everything. And this isn't just speculation. A new theoretical study published in 2024 proposes that time might actually be an illusion created by quantum entanglement. Entanglement is a mysterious connection between particles where a change in one instantly affects another, even if they are far apart. According to this research, time appears because of the relationship between a clock system, something that changes regularly, and the rest of the universe. It's these correlations that give rise to what we call the flow of time. In other words, if there were no interactions and no entanglement, time itself might disappear. At the deepest level, the universe might be timeless, and what we feel as time ticking by could just be a story our minds tell, based on how everything around us changes. Now let's flip the idea around and look at the opposite perspective. What if time isn't an illusion at all? What if time is completely real, a fundamental part of the universe that controls how everything changes? According to this view, time is like the stage on which the story of the universe unfolds. Without time, nothing could move, evolve, or grow. Stars wouldn't form, planets wouldn't orbit, and you and I wouldn't get older. Change wouldn't just stop, it wouldn't even make sense. There are scientific theories that support this idea too. In Einstein's theory of relativity, 
Time is treated as a real dimension just like the three dimensions of space. Together, they form space-time, a sort of fabric that bends and stretches. Gravity, motion, and the behavior of the entire cosmos depend on how this space-time flows and curves. If time were removed, those laws would collapse instantly. Some physicists also argue that time must be real because we consistently observe the arrow of time. We can clearly see a direction. Broken glass doesn't magically reassemble and smoke doesn't return to a matchstick. These irreversible changes hint that a powerful underlying rule is pushing everything forward. Let's explore some of these bold possibilities that explains time as a physical reality. In 2025, a group of theorists proposed something almost sci-fi. What if time has not one but three dimensions? Just like we can move left-right, forward-backward, and up-down in space, time might also have hidden directions that are invisible to us. According to the three-dimensional time theory, time has three independent directions, typically imagined as three axes of motion similar to the spatial X, Y, and Z axes. In the X direction, you're walking forward through time. This is your normal experience of life, moving from past to future. Moving in the Y direction could mean exploring alternate possibilities, different outcomes of an event during the same time period. And the Z direction could represent internal time, such as subjective experiences, memory flow, or layers of consciousness. Imagine you're walking down a straight path in the X direction. It's like moving forward and experiencing time as we normally do. Now imagine another path that crosses this one, going sideways or in the Y direction. If you could step onto that sideways path while remaining in the same moment of regular time, you might find that things are slightly different, perhaps a different version of the same day. Moving along this perpendicular second path could allow you to explore different outcomes of that day without going backward or forward in time as we know it. The existence of those different outcomes corresponds to the second dimension of time, while the ability to shift from one outcome to another is what the third dimension of time makes possible. In this theory, there are directions in time we just don't experience. Let's call them sideways time and up-down time. We can't walk through them, but particles in the quantum world can. When a quantum particle is in a superposition, means that mysterious state where it hasn't yet decided what it is. It might actually be exploring different directions in time before settling on a definite state. Right now, this idea is still very speculative and debated. But if true, it would mean our current view of time is like seeing only a shadow of a much bigger structure. We experience only one direction of time, but there could be multiple timelines branching and weaving, like threads in a cosmic tapestry. Our single arrow of time might be just one possible direction among many. Now, here comes one more surprising idea. Time might be something that objects carry with them, like mass or charge. This concept comes from assembly theory introduced in 2023. It proposes that the more complex an object is, the deeper it sits in time. Scientists measure this complexity with something called an assembly number. A rock has a low assembly number because it's simple. A living cell has a high one because it took billions of years of evolution and chemical steps to exist. According to this theory, the universe isn't only expanding in space, it's expanding in time as complexity grows. Time becomes a physical property you can measure in an object's structure. This flips our ideas upside down. Instead of objects moving through time, time might be growing inside objects as they become more complex. In another fascinating theory, scientists have proposed that time is a discrete frame system. They said that time may not be a smooth, continuous flow at the deepest level. Instead, it might be made up of rapid, discrete frames or moments, like the frames of a movie, especially at quantum scales. According to this view, at the very smallest scales, time is quantized, composed of distinct slices rather than a continuous river. These slices are linked by quantum transitions, 
Each moment leads to the next via specific rules, rather than by smooth evolution. The continuous flow of time that we experience is an emergent effect, smoothed out by the enormous number of these discrete steps. This theory raises bold questions. If time is made of building blocks or frames, then change is not simply motion in a continuous dimension, but a sequence of jumps. And perhaps in extreme quantum or gravitational environments, the frame rate of the universe itself changes, which could explain why time behaves differently near black holes or the Big Bang. On the other hand, scientists have recently discovered some surprising behaviors and properties of time, especially in the microscopic world of quantum physics. One discovery shows that in certain quantum systems, the direction of time isn't fixed. Instead of always going from past to future, the math in these studies allows processes that could also unfold in a direction that looks like future to past. By the way, it doesn't mean we can reverse our lives or unbreak a glass. It means that the arrow of time might only appear because many particles together create a natural sense of forward change. When you look at just a few particles in a tightly controlled experiment, the idea of a single direction of time becomes blurry. Another strange finding involves something called negative time. In special quantum optics experiments, scientists measured how long light interacts with tiny clouds of atoms. In some cases, the calculations suggested the interaction time was less than zero. It's almost as if the effect happened slightly before the cause. Of course, this doesn't allow time travel or breaking physics in the real world. Instead, it shows that our normal understanding of time duration doesn't perfectly apply at very small scales. Quantum behavior can make time feel twisted or stretched in ways our brains aren't used to. Together, these discoveries show that time might not be a simple smooth river flowing forward. It could be more like a complex ocean with waves, currents, and strange loops that only appear when we zoom in far enough. What we experience in everyday life is just the large-scale version, time that looks clean, steady, and irreversible. Engineers can build clocks that measure time incredibly accurately, but physicists are still trying to understand what time actually is. These studies remind us that we're only at the beginning of solving this mystery. Time might have hidden rules, hidden directions, or even hidden structures that we haven't fully uncovered yet. And the more we learn, the more time surprises us.